What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'm going to talk about all the latency issues that a lot of people are reporting here in Black Ops Cold War over the last about week. Um, this has become a pretty big problem for a lot of the community. It's not just, you know, kind of isolated incidents. Before we get into it, be sure if you're not subscribed to the channel to take a second, hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoy the content, hit the like button. And be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. A lot of people have taken kind of to Reddit, Twitter, and talking about all the issues they're having with latency as of late in Black Ops Cold War. There's some people even reporting that they're seeing lag spikes from, you know, just normal pings to all the way up to a thousand in game. Uh, causing a lot of connection interrupted issues in game. Some people are having it, some aren't in game, so it's not like it's just a, you know, a lot of times in, in Call of Duty games, connection interrupted affects everyone in the game. Sometimes it only affects just a handful of people, and that is very annoying. You know, if you're getting connection interrupted, but everybody else is running around just fine, a lot of people think, you know, it could be their own internet issues. But it comes kind of to light now that it's not just people's connection. It seems to be a massive problem all across Black Ops Cold War multiplayer. Now, I have experienced a lot of high pings over the last, really, several months. Um, of course, you can see it in game. You know, if you go into your settings while you're in a game, you can see what your ping is. And the majority of the time, you know, it'll stay relatively within about, you know, five or 10 of what it's set to. But sometimes, you know, if you have a 40 ping, for example, you know, it might run up to 50, back to 40, whatever the case may be. But a lot of times you can check your ping as of late. And it will be running from like 40 to 100 to 200. And like I said, some people are reporting almost up to 1,000 ping in game. Uh, also, for me, I can check my ping in game on my modem while I'm playing. So that's one good thing that I can just pull up and kind of see it. And it's really usually about the same. You know, no matter what my game is showing, you know, my internet at home is also showing around the same ping. It might be a number or two different. Like if it's 40, you know, at home it might be showing 38 or whatever the case may be. But I've also noticed between the game and, of course, you know, my you know, equipment at home that my pings have been going crazy. Sometimes I'll be playing a game. It'll be just fine. It'll be around 40, 50, maybe 60, 60. You know, a lot of people are going to say that's not bad, but 60 is pretty high in a game when you're playing people that have lower pings or higher pings. You know, you want a steady uh, 40 or below, in my opinion, to have a really good gaming experience. That's hard to do in online games, of course. But I've been noticing mine will go from 40 to 100 to 200 to 3, back to 40. Some games, it'll just start out around 100 and, and bounce between 2 and 300 the entire game. And that is very frustrating. I've also noticed, personally for me, over the last few days, a lot of times I will play, I will get connection interrupted just right in the middle of the game. My friends that I'm playing with say they don't get it. So that is a big frustration, in my opinion, for the community. Um, especially if you're like myself, you pay for pretty decent internet. I don't have as fast internet as some people have. But my internet speeds uh, tested consistently are about 100 and, uh, you know, 115, 120 down, uh, always between about 14 and 17 upload. So, you know, it, when I test my internet also, you know, I always have really good pings, you know, like 18, 19 is what I usually get, you know, just testing it. So it is a big frustration because if it's not your internet, you know, it has to be something going on in game. And it seems like, like I said, for a lot of people, this has been happening over the last week, but Personally, for myself, I have noticed this off and on throughout the last several months. Hopefully, Treyarch will address this. They have not said anything yet on Reddit. They have not said anything yet on some of these Twitter posts where a lot of people have been talking to them, uh, you know, kind of about it. Hopefully, within the next update, you know, we're going to get that mid-season part two kind of update uh, for season one uh, around February the 4th. Hopefully, they'll try to do something with the connection issues then. If not, I'm kind of hoping they'll address this a little bit earlier because this is a big problem. Uh, it really makes people not want to play. There's been a lot of people talking about they get in game and get connection interrupted or high pings game after game. You know, they just back out and quit and go play zombies or go play something else totally different, you know, whatever the case may be. But it is very annoying. So leave me a comment. Let me know if you've been experience, uh, experiencing this as well over the last couple of weeks. Like I said, I've experienced it off and on for the last several months. I'm kind of curious, you know, how everybody out there is experiencing this, you know, kind of difference in, in pings and in latency spikes uh, in game. Of course, guys, like I said, leave me a comment with your thoughts and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.